Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me today. Um, this is a video that I didn't really um, mean on mean on videotaping uh, because it just happened last night. So I wanted to make people aware of this. Um, October is my birthday month and um, I usually celebrate it every weekend. My thing is, you know, you're, you're a year older, you celebrate it for one day and there you go. So what I do is I celebrate mine uh, every weekend. But this year I just didn't do a lot of celebrating. So yes, uh, so this weekend being the last weekend of the month, I decided to go out. So I went to um, Pechanga. And that's a casino in Temecula. And so I'm there. I went to Kelsey's and, you know, I forgot, you know, this weekend people who um, celebrate Halloween, they would have their costumes on. And so that's what happened. I know Halloween is, is um, what is it, Wednesday, I think? Um uh, Thursday, whatever, whatever. I don't even keep track. But anyway, um, some of the costumes were kind of, you know, interesting. And a couple of them was like, you know, you come to my front door looking like that, I'm going to kick you in your throat. So um, it, they were interesting. And I wish I had brought my camera just to show you because some of them was, you know, very good. Something out of the, the haunted house at Disneyland just really really, you know, they took time in their costume. So anyway, you know, I I, um, I always meet people when I go out, talk to them, whatever. And so, you know, I was just talking to, you know, a few people at Kelsey's having good conversation. Everybody was like in a good mood or what have you. And so, okay, so um, I'm tired of Kelsey's. So I had eaten before I... Um, before I left and went there, but I, I was feeling a little hungry. So I went to a place called Blazing Noodles. Okay, remember that name, Blazing Noodles. Now I've been to other restaurants out there, you know, great restaurants, the Great Oak Steakhouse. I mean, the best steaks, uh, scallops and oh, whatever. I've never had a bad meal there. And they have, uh, you know, the buffet, and they have, which I've gone there several times, many times. And they have a, a Italian place, um, pizza, you know, and all the Italian dishes, and the courthouse, of course, the courthouse, the court. Hmm, where'd that come from? Because uh, it could have been a court case. Anyway, the um, food court. So anyway, I go f for the first time to Blazy Noodles. They seat me right off. Not a waiting line. I mean, by that time, it's like something to 2 a.m. So, they seat me. And I'm waiting. I was able to go on my phone and uh, go through my messages, looked at a few things on YouTube. More than 20 minutes passed and they had not even come to get me a glass of water. I had looked around and I was the only black face in there. Asians and white people were, you know, being seated and uh, served. And it really wasn't crowded. Because if it was, you know, you kind of got to allow for it being crowded. You know, come on now. It wasn't crowded. So, I politely get up and walk out. And as I'm walking out at the... At the uh, that's where the people, you know, you stand there and they, they seat you. I told them, I was over there for more than 20 minutes and nobody even offered me a glass of water. I also informed them that I used to work there. I knew a few managers and I left there in good standing and they would be hearing about it. 
Then I thought as I was getting ready to walk through the door, I said, no, <laughs> no. So one of the ladies that um, was working there, um, uh, I'm not sure what her position was, but she had, you know, how many of them have like little, you know, walkie-talkie type deals. So I told her of the incident and told her uh, what had happened and uh, said, and told her that I was the only black face in, in, the, in the whole restaurant. So she said, well, I'm going to get the manager because I did not speak to the manager. So I talked to him. He came out, talked to him, and I told him, you know, didn't even get a glass of water, wasn't even offered a glass of water. So he said, well, um, can I get you a glass of water? Kind of arrogant. And I said, no, you can't give me a glass of water. I don't want nothing from your place. But I tell you what, I got a YouTube channel, and I will be letting my the subscribers and viewers know about Blazing Noodles. Remember that name. So he says, well, well, can I offer you a complimentary meal? I said, no, you can't offer me that. You think I'm going to go back into that restaurant? It's obvious you didn't want to wait on me because I'm the only black face in there. And you're going to offer me a meal so you can put something in my food or spit in it? Hell to the gnaw. You can't give me anything. Oh, we wouldn't do that. He talked to me for a few minutes. I didn't want any more uh, conversation because I basically said what I wanted to say. But I tell you this thing. I kind of blame myself because I've been boycotting certain ethnic groups, certain races. And I don't, not I-S-T, but races, R-A-C-E-S, R-A-C-E-S, right, to make sure I had to spell that right. Because on some channels, and then you've been there at some of the, the shops where they've mistreated black people, has gone as far as calling the police, has gone as far as hitting, hitting people. So I do my own nails. I do my own I, pedicures. I don't buy anything from them. Nothing. I try to shop with people who appreciate my business. So, that's my fault. But I thought that because it's in a hotel setting, is a resort, that, and since I work there, Maybe it would be okay this time if I went to Blazing Noodles. Remember that name. My era. I shouldn't have gone in there. Okay, so I get home. Okay, and I'm, I'm just fuming. And I started to videotape this um, last night. And I said, nah, 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 nah. See, because there's going to be some choice words in this video. Let me, let me just let me just take down a few notches, you know, before I videotape this. So I look on my phone, and one of, um, she's not there anymore. One of the, the, the employees that I used to work with, and we became friends, she had um, email, um, texted me. You know, just ironically, she, she texted me out of the blue. Um, and I, you know, this morning, so I read the text and, you know, then I told, you know, she asked me what I was doing and I told her and I told her about the incident. And she said, oh, okay. She said, they're racist. Marilyn, they're racist. She said that, um, uh, an employee, an African lady, she was working there at Blazing Noodles. And every time she would come around, they would speak in their language. And they would watch her. And they treated her very bad. They treated her badly. And then they end up firing her, saying that she stole money out of the 
uh, cash register. Come on. Come on. The way I was treated and then finding this. See, I never knew about this incident until this morning. And I haven't worked there. I retired from my career. And I said, well, you know what? I'll, I'll work a few hours someplace. And so I had an opportunity to work at Pachanga. You know, they got you know, good benefits, and, you know, I didn't need them and everything because I got all what I needed before I left there. I just wanted to work a few, few hours. And um, the only reason why I stopped working there is because they were giving me too many hours. Like, hey, all I need, all I want is a few hours a day. I mean, they were having me work their three shifts in one week, day shift, swing shift, graveyard. In one week, and I just didn't want to do that. So, well, shoot, if I'm gonna work like this, and you know, get this pay, I wouldn't have never retired. I would have stayed at my other job, less work hours, and made more money. Don't make sense not to work to work here. It doesn't make sense to work there. That's what I told my manager. She did not want me to leave because I was a good worker. I give my best, my all. If it's one thing that my that the the places that I've worked, you cannot say that I was lazy and I wasn't a good worker, because being a good worker is in a uh, a reflection on me. So, here we are making this video about blazing noodles and the whole point of this video is to tell anybody who visits there do not go to blazing noodles do they are racist i will say alleged just in case they come back with some bull crap i'll say alleged yeah right alleged they're alleged racist unless i was asian or white, I was not going to get waited on till they got around me, but I will not stand for it. Instead of calling, I'm going to write a letter, and I know who to write it to, because I used to see him walking down the aisles, and he remembered me from orientation, because it wasn't that many people, many blacks, you know, in orientation, maybe a few, but he, he remembered me. Because I was dressed to kill. I was from top to bottom. I was looking good. And I knew I was. So I stood out. And I'm black too. So, But I stood out because of looking professional and being professional. So I know exactly who to write this letter. Oh, this is not the end of it. It is not the end of it. I got, besides you two... I retired. I can. Cause I re I'm retired because I can be retired. And if you guys can't be retired, keep on working. You you enjoy the fruits of your labor, like I am. Being retired has afforded me to be on YouTube and not worry about a paycheck from YouTube, because YouTube does not pay my bills. Trust. They do not pay my bills. So I can say what I say and feel confident. Okay, now, like I said, I don't want no strikes. I said in an earlier video, I don't want no strikes against me because that's just the person who I am. I give my all. I give my best. But I just wanted people to know who have said something uh, about other videos, you know, uh, that had a lot of views, many, many views. You know, you're doing this for the money. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Don't need it. Okay, but when it comes around uh, that 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 I'm in a position to get the paycheck from YouTube. Oh yeah, I want it. Other channels are getting paid. Yeah, I want it. I'm almost at that level, but yeah, I want it. Because continue to continue to do something, and everybody else is getting paid. You not? That's silly. Come on, money talks. So, that's what I got today, and the bottom line is, do not go to Blazing Noodles at Pachanga 
Resort and Casino in Temecula. I've never had problems with any of the any of the other restaurants, so I do recommend the Great Oak Steakhouse. They have uh, black working there. They have people of color working there. The best service you ever want. I mean, to tell you, they you don't have to ask for water. You don't even ask to be refilled. They are on it. They on top of it, baby. They on top of it. So if you find yourself there, go to Great Oak Steakhouse or go to Kelsey's. Go to the food court if you don't, you don't want to spend a whole whole lot of money. Which the food court ain't that cheap, but it's cheaper than the other places. But do not, if you are black. If you are a person of color and have experienced racism and you do not want to go through that trip, subscribe if you have not already. Hit the notification bell. You know what it's for. And I'm still a little ruffled by that. And until I write that letter and meet with this particular person, I'm not satisfied because I got time now to to not only blast them on YouTube, I got time to see it through the end. Okay? So I just broke in and did this. I was working on something else. I put that on the on the back burner to do this. And I will see you again. And thank you for joining me. And you have a great west rest of your week. See you later. Bye-bye.